This is a repair of an older desktop PC that was given to me by a gentleman. And uh, the very first thing I plugged it in, it's making this beeping sound. And there's no display on the screen. So we're going to have to look at the motherboard. Um, this uh, uh, unscrewing the screw to access the motherboard. There's two of the screws. And then there's this little clip that you push down and then slide off the panel. The first thing that I noticed was that this computer was very dirty. There was lots of dust all in the CPU and the um, power supply. So you, uh, you want to clean this up because this is an issue. You can overheat and turn off your computer. So uh, to fix this issue, what I've done is I have a compressor here to start it up. And um, you can also buy um, some dust cleaner. But the compressor has a higher uh, pressure, so you can really get this out. So I'm just cleaning up. I mean, you want to get into the underneath the fan for the CPU. That's really important because if the CPU gets too hot, it could damage your computer. And you want to do the power supply uh, as well because anything with a fan, basically, you want to clean that up to get rid of all that dust. And that beeping issue was the RAM. And so what you it wasn't seated right. So you just press those white tabs and then you can take it out and then just push that RAM back in. Uh, for this, uh, since this computer was older and um, I wanted to be nice, I gave this gentleman another four gigabytes of RAM. So he has eight gigabytes because it's a older type RAM. So I have them around my house. So this will help his computer go a little bit faster. So there we go, we have the four um, each uh, of those have two gigabytes, so he has eight gigabytes of RAM. Not that he needs it, but uh, I have this, so it'll help him out. So anything to help. So let's uh, give this thing a boot and see if it's working. I, I went into the BIOS and it works great. So I just checked out the RAM to see if everything's going okay. And I went through a couple of the settings. It was a little bit tricky to find it because it's a older TV or sorry, computer. And uh, I did manage to find the menu and to check it out. Uh, I think it was, there we go. And, and and you can see there we got extended memory, about eight gigabytes. That's great. So we'll just reboot and see if it goes up into Windows. Probably the best upgrade for these older computers is get a solid state hard drive and it would boot in a couple of seconds, but these older Windows XP computers do take a time to load but they do work, so why change it if it's working? There you go, it's working. So thank you for watching this video. This is a repair of an older um, Aspire desktop AST180. Thanks, please like the video and subscribe.